You love Figma, but Adobe acquired it for $20 billion. And you are afraid because come on, they are the one that designed Adobe XD. Or just you're concerned about your data ownership and privacy. So before you move to the creative cloud, let's have a look at a serious open source alternative named Penpot. Hi, welcome to Alternative 2. In today's video, we are going to have a look at Penpot, an open source design and prototyping platform. We will also see how to deploy your own instance in a minute on Elestio. Let's have a look on the key features Penpot offers. It's component based, which means you create your design system, you modify and create your own components and you modify them at one place and it's modified everywhere. You can set up interactive prototypes very easily with the visual interface. You can collaborate in real time and the integrators, for example, can download the images and get the source code. You can add feedbacks and comments directly either on the design or the prototype itself. And as it is open source and community based, you have a huge library and template where you can get high quality resources. On their website, you can know what is happening and what are the upcoming features. It's entirely free. You can either subscribe on their website and use it directly, or you can deploy your own instance and we will see how to do it. Okay, let's see how to deploy your own instance of Penpot on LSTO. So go on ls.io, click on login. Once you are in the platform, click on deploy a service, search for Penpot, select, then you can configure at your will, but let's do just next and create service. Now it's deploying and we just have to wait. We will receive an email when it's done. Okay, so I just received an email which is telling me my new instance is ready. So I can click here and it will open directly my instance. And they are asking me my email and my password. I can click here to get my password because LSTO will automatically create me a user, which is my email address and a default password. So I can click here to copy it to the clipboard and use my email address and my password. And here is our first opening of Penpot. So there's a welcome guide and no, I don't want to receive news. I can create a team, but I won't as it, this is only for showcase that I created this instance. So create a team later. When you arrive here, the first thing you might want to do is to go to the interface walkthrough, which is a guide to tell you how to use the platform and understand the basics. So you have the rules, users, the toolbar, zoom, file status, etc, etc. So feel free to, to go through it and read carefully to understand how to use the tool. If you are familiar to Figma, it's really easy to get into it, even if there are some differences as well. There is also another tutorial, which is called hands-on tutorial. And this one is less about the interface, but how to create something using the platform. So here you have the pages. So level zero is to explain how to navigate. And then level one is the whole tutorial and you have to follow it. And in the end, if you follow everything, you should have this result that you can see here on the right and here should be yours. I didn't complete the tutorial, but I highly recommend you to do it if you want to get further with Penpot. If you want to discover more in depth how to use it, they have a help center where you have actually a user guide, which is full of resources to know how to use the platform and it's very well made. So if you look at the interface, they provide great screenshots and in some place there are GIFs so you know how exactly to use it. It's written work in progress, but it's already really complete. If you are more about hands-on tutorial and if you want to get news from Penpot, you can subscribe to their YouTube channel. So you will get the news and hands-on tutorial and learn deeply how to use it. 
Okay, so now let's see a brief overview of the interface. So you can use a project from the libraries and templates. Click on continue, it will import the file from the common repository. Once it's loaded into your, your own instance, you can click on accept and open it. So here is the design system of Penpot and it's split it in different pages. So you can see that the welcome, which I explain how it works. And you have, as it's a design system based on atomic design, you have atoms, molecules, organisms, and templates and pages. So for the atoms, you have the typography, you have the colors, you have the spacing, all the different atoms. And you have, for example, the molecules. What I really like to use in this is the fact that once the design system is set up, you can click on assets and you will have all the components available here. And you just have to drag and drop it to create your page based on that. So you can do really interesting thing. So you can create your interface very easily from there. This is the interface for the designer, but you can click on the view mode. And here you will be able to see um, the prototype, which is better for the other team than the designer. And you can give your comments and feedbacks here. But if you are an integrator or uh, a developer, you will have all the info that interests you here while clicking on code. Or if it was image, you can export it as well, either in PNG or SVG because Everything is SVG in Penpot. Thanks for watching. I hope you will enjoy Penpot and maybe switch to this amazing tool. Please spread the like button to help us gain visibility. If you want to discover new alternatives to, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye bye.